The Ping Pong Project is, is very special for Australia because it's creating new connections between Colombia and Australia. Having a dialogue that in fact is very similar in terms of their, their um, adoption of very different styles and the way they work. So to create 20 works each, each one stylistically very different, uh, really tells you something about the kinds of, of uh, interest there is for artists to work in uh, in tactile materials and to think through ideas through creating these images. So this is a very exciting project for us. I find it extremely interesting having this conversation between artists that are living in, co in completely different contexts and how the interpretation of an image is completely, is completely relating to the environment where you are. At. I just thought it was going to be just about doing a few drawings. But then once you get into it, you realize that what you're doing, what the whole exercise is much more profound and deep than, than expected because we are, I'm having a dialogue with this person on the other side of the globe doing the same thing as me and we are going to come up with completely different uh, solutions to this little problem of the words. Another thing that I find really interesting is that at the end this made me realize that we what artists do is that we just made images of words and it was very clear doing this exercise. Ping pong is a game after all and it's a game between two people so it was a game of exchange and dialogue which importantly had at the end point a relationship to the viewer. I always saw it as a triangular type of project that certainly there was a thing between Jorge and myself but at the end of the day, the viewer looking at our paired works would sort of finish the dialogue. So it was like a three-part ping-pong, if you like. And the whole process of the two artists communicating with each other, each in his own country, and trying to develop uh, common ideas that were selected. So uh, several themes and topics were selected and the artists were able to interpret them in whatever way they, they chose. The thing that's most important is the connection between the communities and the cross-cultural exchange and I think it's about the commonalities, not about the difference. And I think it's also about breaking stereotypes of what is seen as Colombian or what is seen as Latin American. Both Colombia and Melbourne, Australia, have extraordinary contemporary art scenes and this is a mirror into both worlds. It's really important to see the growth of cultural exchange between Colombia and Australia, in particular in my state, Victoria, and uh, it's wonderful to see the exchange of artists and uh, both musical and physical artists uh, doing their work. And the Colombian community is growing in Australia and the relationships are getting stronger and we can see how that uh, expression of the connection and the cultural connections and differences can be experienced throughout the arts and how arts can make our connections in all the other areas. And I think it's been a really good opportunity for us because the idea of intercultural dialogue has been one of the key areas that we've been working on and to have Colombian artists in Australia uh, collaborating with the local Colombian community as well as artists and members of other communities provides a real basis for, for uh, interesting projects and I, I think we'll be able to build on it too into the future. Ping pong is a great example of how the art can underpin future uh, relationships in, in trade and in commerce and in business. 
the exhibition today and the audience that attended is a classic and a very good example of how successful it was. Shows the importance of the interest of the community in, Col in Colombia to link with the community in Australia, but at the same time it shows the power that a person can have and the passion that a person that really wants to connect through uh, arts projects with another country and find someone that is also actually also believes in the connection then that helps and bridges the the and drives a project like this An event like ping pong is very important uh, because we need an event around uh, which to come together and to have two artists at play and very present to each other through words uh, provides a kind of a remote connection that can then provide a basis for people coming together and I think it was wonderful to see how many Colombian artists there are here and uh, to see the particular way in which they're able to engage with Melbourne by making community connections. Also adding a lot of uh, very colourful and uh, engaging stories. The exhibition and the conference has been very informative and very um, eye-opening um, in terms of the relations um, between Colombia and Australia and the arts. Um, a lot of interesting and very exciting opportunities um, are going to be opening. Um, I really liked the, the structure of, of having some of the um, the academics and some of the theories and concepts presented before the artists spoke so then it was nice to be able to connect the two and yeah it was just it was a nice day. It's important that we have such a big community of artists growing, Colombian artists growing now in, in Australia because that's going to help us generate and create more of these partnerships with between Colombia and Australia. I think, you know, looking at the, the small things might be somewhere to start. And, and as we know, it's one of the great songs of Australia from little things, big things grow. Let's hope that's the case. <laughs>